Hello and welcome to another episode of Engineering Things. Today I'm going to be talking you through how to carry out parameter sweeps in LT Spice. Now this should be a relatively short video uh, covering two main topics, basically why would we want to do a sweep and then providing a couple of examples. So firstly, why would we want to do a sweep? Why would we want to vary some parameters? And really the, the short answer is, is because uh, it, become, it could become quite tiresome, quite worrisome to try and actually manually change parameters, rerun simulations. Um, rather than doing that, we could set up a big experiment, press go, and it will just automatically calculate uh, the output for a variety of parameters which we might wish to consider. For example, if we have a uh, potential divider as shown here, then we might think to ourselves, well, what happens when uh, the resistor value is 10 kilo ohms? Or perhaps what happens when it's 20 kilo ohms? Or perhaps we might actually want to consider it for um, several or tens and tens of values or even more. Um, so if we can automate this process, it could be incredibly useful. So we've moved over now to LT Spice and we've just got a very basic but uh, example uh, shown. Uh, here we just have a uh, diode uh, with a shunt resistor and we're just measuring a voltage at node 2. Um, so for example we could sweep this resistor value. So to do that we're just going to go, we're going to press the op button, um, we're going to write a spice directive called dot step and this is stepping a parameter and I'm just going to press enter and then place it. Um, and then I'm going to right click on this step value and again you can just write this out manually or you can now use this statement editor to select a parameter we're going to call it lowercase r say we will do a linear sweep um, we'll start at uh, one hundred uh, say one kilo ohm we'll go to a hundred kilo ohms and we might go in steps of 10 or maybe even 20 kilo ohms so now we've written that, we need to actually use this value R that we've created. So we can go over to our resistor, which you'll notice is called capital R. So we're not selecting the name of the resistor, but we're inputting a parameter value in place of the resistance value. So then we use curly braces to write R. Once we have this, we can then run our, sim our simulation, run our system, and then we can probe the output and we can see that indeed the resistance value is changing and affecting what we're seeing. So we've managed to implement a parameter sweep of the resistance value of this shunt resistor. We've moved over to a second example now, which is performing a uh, AC analysis on uh, a filter followed by a diode again with a shunt resistor. Uh, and we're just plotting that at the top here. Uh, and we're, uh, so we're doing a a uh, decade sweep uh, of frequencies. Now um, we can do something similar here so we can uh, change a value. So in this case uh, I'm going to once again produce a step and this time I'm going to make a variable called C which is going to be the capacitance of this capacitor and I'm going to go from 1 micro up to uh, 10 in again steps of 2. I want to make sure we include those, use that. And then we're going to change the value here to C. And then we can run it. And you can see that once again it creates, uh, it sweeps through the variables and we're plotting them uh, up top. So this allows us to see the effect of uh, of the change as we sweep through those parameters. Now if we actually click on this we can bring up um, a uh, the, we can bring up kind of a, a line which which shows us the values and we can see in the bottom right hand corner we uh, can actually read those values off the graph and if you press the up arrow key it will take us to the next parameter and then we can we can keep going all the way through uh, and we can read off these values and if you press the down we'll go back down through the sweep. So we can actually go through uh, and, and read off the uh, different values that may be produced by the particular circuit we're analyzing using particular parameter values.
Now it is worth remembering that there are different types of sweeps available. Uh, so far we have been using a linear sweep, uh, but we could do a decade, octave, or even a list. So if we just want to do a couple of examples, we might do, uh, you know, we might do something like this, or 50, and then we could run that. And that would give us our list that we have chosen, and it will just go through that list as opposed to doing uh, a sweep with a uh, specific step size. So there's quite a bit of custom uh, customizability uh, involved in, in what you can actually do. Finally, uh, it's also worth noting that we can actually do multiple uh, parameter sweeps. So uh, if I do another step, for example, I could introduce a step on, uh, again, say the resistance in this case, which we could call R. We'll do a list and we'll just do two examples, perhaps one kilo ohm and five kilo ohms. Uh, and then we will make the resistance uh, of this resistor uh, R. And if we run it, we can see it plots. However, the problem we start to encounter if we do sort of a, basically a 2D parameter sweep in effect here, sweeping two different parameters, uh, is that the visualization on this top graph uh, within LT Spice is not necessarily displaying the information in a particularly useful or appropriate way. So uh, you might have to start moving uh, to representing that to uh, the output information that's being produced by LT Spice in uh, different uh, in different ways, uh, not necessarily just looking at this top graph here. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for your support on this channel so far.